to dad yet, but um, I can tell you this much, that we're all going to be together. You, me, Star, Danny, Jack, Aunt Dorian, Aunt Vicky, Grandma, Addie, we're all going to stick together and we're all going to stick beside you. And you know, all those wonderful, wonderful memories of dad in a way that's that's going to keep him alive forever, okay? It's not the same. I know. It's not. Look at me. It's okay to feel sad. Because we're all going to miss him so much. But we also have to keep our chin up, too. So Daddy can see a smile, okay? I came to tell you that I'm sorry. Why? Because I know how you feel. I know how much it sucks to lose one of your parents. Yeah, well, killer's not getting away with it. My dad's brother, Scarface, is going to jail. That's good. You know, they have someone in jail for killing my mom, too. Only the person that really killed her is still walking around. For now. I had Gigi's body exhumed. You know that I've been seeing her. No, I know you thought you saw her once or twice, but... No, I don't think that I saw her. I wasn't imagining it. I saw Gigi. I had to be sure. I got this idea... that I had to see her, so I... I had her dug up. Now I know Gigi really is dead. I'm so sorry that you felt you had to go to those lengths. But it makes sense, doesn't it? That kind of grief and anger. It can be overwhelming. That kind of grief and that kind of anger can make people do desperate things. We're not talking about what happened to G's grave anymore, are we? Rex, please understand that I'm only pressing this because I love you. I know how much you wanted justice for Gigi's death. For her, for you, for Shane. Let go. If you did this, I, I, I just want you to know that, that if you did something drastic, you can tell me. You know that, right? You can trust me, sweetheart, please. I mean, I forged Gigi's signature on that proxy so that you could decide what to do with her heart. You remember that? Okay. So you can trust me now. Shane's already lost his mother. Don't let him lose his father, too. Shane is not going to lose his father. Don't worry. Whatever you're thinking, I didn't kill Victor Lord. Though I am grateful to whoever did. I'm telling you the truth, Echo. I guess I'll just have to take your word for it then. Thank you. It's still like you to get rid of this gun, though. I feel a lot better knowing that there wasn't a nine millimeter handgun lying around this house. You're sorry? Realize, um, I know your relationship with your uncle was complicated. Right. Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, Victor and I weren't really close, but he's still my uncle. And no one deserves to die this way. If you want off this case... No. No, it's fine. I can handle it. I mean, I, I mostly feel sorry for my mom and Jess. They were close to him. And Taya, my cousins. They loved him. As opposed to my brother, who pretty much did a jig the minute he found out the news. Said it was justice for Gigi. I hope that's not motive I hear. Rex? Mm. No. I mean, my brother could never kill anyone, no matter how much he hates them. Hey, I thought you were down to the docks. All right, yeah, I just got back. That was fast. What'd you find? Nothing. No gun, no sign of Louie. All this stuff, that makeshift lean-to, all of it's gone. Really? Touch a nerve. Don't want to go there. K.A.D. House, Spring Fling. 
I don't see any point in going through the past. Because of you, all I have left of Victor is the past. I didn't do it. I didn't kill him. I promise Get you. Get your hands off. You have to believe me. Back off, Manny. You're kidding, right? Yeah. Kind of. Well, whatever happens, I don't want Natalie to be the reason we don't try. Trust me, you can blame this one all on me. Me and the Supremes. Tess Bessemus. You know, Jess, you need to stop being so hard on yourself. And, amazing kiss aside, I do see what you're saying. I'll always care about you, Jess. But, you know, starting over, trying to turn back the clock, that probably doesn't make much sense for us right now. Told you. I guess it was kind of random. Mm. But it was really, really sweet. You know me. <laughs> You know, it's just that thinking about when we were back in high school, you know, falling in love for the first time, that I felt so comfortable, so safe. I mean, isn't there any part of you that wants to go back to that? I, I can't, I can't force Jessica to let you out. Why not? It's not like you haven't done it before. We both know that low life stunts aren't beneath you, thank God. It's one of the things I love most about you. I love you too, but I'm not gonna mess with Jessica's sanity. I, I can't do that to her. Since when did you start caring about Jessica? Look, look, Jessica's trying to rebuild her life, right? I, I'm not gonna stand in the way of that. So you like Jessica more than me? No! <laughs> no, I, of course not. I love you. I love you. But... It's Jessica's body, and it's Jessica's life, and, and she, she's the mother of my child. Ow! Listen to me, you overdeveloped, chest-waxing, two-timing oaf. We are getting back together, okay? So stop avoiding Jessica and get in there and start fighting for me. Hard and dirty, the way I like it. Or you'll lose me forever. Tess, no, I, I want you to come back. Were you? Calling for me, sir? Uh, yeah, I was. I'd like to check 